Hi guys, welcome to Wave Flick Fishing. We're in Far East Gippsland today at the front of an estuary system and we're going to be showing you the new Duo Rallis Vibration Lure. It's 62 mil long, 11 grams in weight, over 10 ball bearings to make one hell of a racket. They have a good track record for us so far, but over the next two days we're going to do some filming on them and show you just how deadly and effective these lures actually are. What do you reckon Anthony? Well today target species is going to be floody, so what we'll do is we'll head down to the front of the estuary and we'll find some shallow banks and some drop offs and basically just color diff cover different grounds from the shallows to the deep to the depths. Um, we're going to start off with the shallows and try and work up some floodies. If no go, we'll work ourselves into the deep water. Um, the lures are fairly versatile. They can be used in real shallow water or in real deep. They weigh, I think it's about 11 gram off memory. Um, so they plummet, you can get them down to about 15, 20 metres. So yeah, we'll head to the front and try and dig up some of these big mummers we've been chasing for a while. Let's get into it. No worries. What we're doing is casting up onto the bank. You can see a shallow sand bank that runs in along there and basically hopping our lures down the edge. I hope that one of these mighty big females is living there. And there's one. Pays to be try and be as gentle as you can with these flatties because their teeth are very well known for chafing you. And if you've got one of these big ones, you do not want to lose it because they don't come that often. Oh, yeah. Lovely fish. Colors on that fish. You can see he's got it in his mouth. So dead bit to him in. Oops. Hold up for it. That's all right, I got it. Bang. There it is. Lovely flooded. There it is. Lovely little floody. Probably about somewhere in the 50s, I think. I'd say something like that. It's a 51. Very nice fish. Worst fish to handle these ones because they've got these really nasty spikes just behind their gills and when they kick side to side they get you nearly every time. And it's a pain in the ass. This one will let him go. Let him do another day. Yep. Yeah, that roll is fine. Let's pick one off. Another lovely eater. Yeah, beautiful. Such an easy way to fish them as well. Right, Obviously, pick up a lot more than the bait because you're covering a lot more ground. Flatty are a bit of a lazy fish, they all just sit around. And that's why when you're fishing lures, you're constantly moving, so you're always covering ground. Pretty rare for a baito to get. 20 and 30 flat out in a sesh, but it's not too rare for us to get 50 and 60 in a sesh, so. I'll show you a bit about the lure I'm using. It's a vibrating lure made by Duo, a Japanese tackle company. And what she does when you pull it through the water, just vibes, vibes up. So you're letting it sink to the bottom, as you pull it, just vibes up. You four bearings in there, so you can see it creates a fair bit of a fuss. Seems to be doing the trick here. No way! Got a snag, motored towards it, took it on a different angle and got it out, wheeled a bit of my slack in, and this bloke just pounced on it. There you go. Oh, it looks so good in that morning light. Ease him into the net. There you have it. There you have it, beautiful dusky flathead. Fantastic fish, I love that blue dot. It's 
especially when they're coming up in the water, it really stands out in the back of their tail there. Let this puppy go. Oh, you reckon double hook up? Big call, you reckon? Big call, we'll <laughs> see. I'm up for big calls at the moment. Nice long cast out there, right on that bank. She's at the bottom now, a couple of jigs, sinking down again. Then when you belly your line relaxes, you know the bottom again, so you get a couple of jigs out of it. There's no really right and wrong way in the way you jig your lure. You can slow raise it, you can whack it, double hop it. There's anything you do there's no problem. As long as we're going back to the bottom, that's the main thing. Start, stops and pauses. A lot of people that don't fish lures, a lot of people I've spoken to about it say, oh, I've tried them, but I've never been able to have any success with them. You find a lot of guys, they don't let it hit the bottom and they don't stop, start and pause, which is probably the most important thing for fishing soft plastics and lures. Yeah, definitely, I'd say it's almost everything. If you don't hit the bottom, you're not in the game, especially for flathead, you just will not get them. Make sure that hits the bottom. Yep, felt the twitch on that one. It's one thing you always got to make sure you're looking looking out for when you're fishing these lures. Is when you jig and then you really you're slacking and you're waiting for your lure to hit the bottom. Keep your eye on that line because if you see any irregular movement, like just then I saw a little twitch. Actually, sometimes you feel it through the rod. That time I saw it and felt it through the rod. And it's not like bait fishing where you get a couple of nibbles and you wait for them to take it. No, that little touch in your line is everything. That is your bite. It's up to you to strike the fish and hook him up. A little bit better of a fish. Oh, he's got a pull, bit of pull tonight. Just back my drag off a bit here. Especially with chat, with flatties like Anthony was saying. A bit too much. That will chafe you up to the shit house. Nothing worse than that feeling of losing a big plane. Just taking him nice and easy. He's nothing special, he just had a bit of go on him. Still a good fish though. Another victim to the Rallis 5. Beautiful fish. He's on. Just right off that drop off. Bloody love edges, love edges of banks. What they do is on the low tides, on the as the tides shooting out, and the fish that have to come off the edges, they just wait on the edges for a feed. That's where all these fish are coming from, right off that edge. I called the double hook up last cast, we didn't get it, at least we got it this cast. this cast, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. There you go. With that fiber sticking out there. Really kicks up a lot of fuss, this fiber, and we're really happy with it. We're testing it for duo lures at the moment, so there's some good feedback going back to them, because they're just, they're just slamming them. Pretty good hardware on them, some big strong hooks so you can handle your bigger fish. destroyed. Oh, bit me. Now we just let this puppy go. He's on. Not a worry in the world. It doesn't. It does really well this door. I don't know, but it's a noise in it. What have we got here? Buddy. Dumb buddy. Big daddy's on again. 
just goes to show how easy it is getting these fishing these lures for flooding it's such an easy easy exercise we we're actually looking up something at a, a place called Malakuta not too long ago and it was showing target rates for flooded before lures came in and it was something like 25 or 30 percent and then they showed they, the fishery blokes have done a done a survey since then and now it's over 50 percent of the target species is flooded due to the lures so a lot more are coming out of the water a lot more big girls are coming out of the water so it's real real important that we throw a lot of these girls back otherwise we're not going to have any fishing for our kids or the future so i mean it's all about having fun and everything but it's also about sustainable fishing and you know we pride ourselves on on trying to sustain these waters so it's all good and well coming out and catching heaps of fish but it'd be good to throw a lot of them back too Some people might think these vibes are just a tad too big for brim. We got a few on them yesterday. This little tag has had a crack at it. I just made a mess. There you go. Little brim, big vibe. In the water. There you go, buddy. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's all the time we've had for you today. As you can see, those duo rallis has really spanked a lot of fish. So if you do want to get more info on them or you want to get them into your stores, ask for them or check them out at www.swldistributions.com. Thanks for watching We Flick Fishing.